Hi everyone, welcome Flory Thorne, Spiritual Healer, coming in to do the channel messages for the month of February. This is January the 29th. Now I'm going to be doing, um, I'm just, they're so all over the place today. Um, so I think I'm going to do, who am I going to do? Who's reading? Who's, which side am I going to? Oh, that's so sound. It's so bad. Um, I think I'll do, I think it's, I feel like it's probably Gemini that's coming through. Gemini. It is Gemini. It is. Yeah, it's Gemini. So for Gemini, I truly am going to go into the Dark Mirrors card for you. Um, hmm. I got a ring. I got a ring, Gemini. So I have a ring. And I'm like, I just want to take out this ring like a, a band. Um, and I just keep picking up a ring. And I'm like, I don't know if you're given a ring, searching for a ring. Like, I got a ring. And I just keep doing this with my finger. And I'm like, I got the ring. I got the ring. I got the ring. And so um, this is about a band, a ring of some sort. And I just feel like it's like tied around you, Gemini. So I don't know if some of you are getting married or placing a ring on your finger. But this is not the ring finger. This is not the wedding finger. So I don't know if it's actually a wedding ring or something else. But um but Gemini, I'm also picking up like a, a sense of for some of you, it's like your world feels like depleted. You've dried up. It's like there's some there's some depleted energy. I feel like the energy is dry, deserted, deserted energy. And I just feel like sometimes you are deserting yourself, running away from yourself, and you're not always there for you. Um, I feel like you're so far away from home, which is you so far away from yourself that it's like um what the what are you doing what are you doing and why are you doing that that's what i'm getting so fade it to supper be going to eat the apple i don't know why some of you get caught in that fade it to supper it's like you keep looking for misery you keep looking for the, the for the for the hurt people for the challenges for the struggles always trying to fix people but i'm like and this is in the shadows like faded to suffer if you keep going on the path that some of you are on you're going to be faded into a whole year of suffering and it's like do you want to continue on this suffering journey so it's like you you tend to you tend to you tend to grab on and so you grab on to what it's like that that instant satisfaction that gratification in the center and it's like if you do not make the changes that you need to make to be happy, you're going to suffer. And I just feel like it's like there's a temptation and you're being tempted so much. And yeah, and I just feel like you're going to regret like the gilded regret. I feel like we grow prickly and into not so nice people when we regret the decisions and choices that we knew were going to make us happy or that we should be making to make us happy. And we're not doing it. And I'm like gilded regret. And I don't know if regrets come back to bite you in the ass and regrets come back or someone's coming back to spill the beans or to tell a story if you're about to spill the beans. But I just feel like it's like that envy, the jealousy, like I have a lot of that energy around right now. And this is the, and this is what happens to us when we go to the depth of our darkness, when we allow misery stories, when we allow hate, envy, jealousy, regrets, those things get in the way, we lose ourselves. And you put yourself into that suffering misery story and you get caught there. And then the whole world around you becomes misery and suffering. And I feel like that, ooh, yeah, I have an obsession here. And when you become so OCD, so obsessed with something and you want something so bad, you're determined because that's ego. You want to hold on to it so bad because you want your way. You want to get what you want. Well, getting what you want is not getting you what you need. Whatever this story is, Gemini, it is holding you captive, and if it continues, it's going to be like, oh, stop searching and seeking for things that do not align. Whatever you feel like is missing, let it stay missing. It is not missing. It is not missing. It is not there. Um, it was never there. And so what's missing, what you're trying to find in everyone else is inside of you. And you are just, you're like a tornado destroying things along the way, trying to, trying to find this gentleness that is really inside of you so big warning um i am getting very i get very sleepy when there's a lot of heavy energy in your reading and there's a lot of heavy energy in gemini not all 
This is not for all. This is just the energy that I'm picking up. And I keep seeing, I have a picture of Mother Mary from Sedona. And she came to me when I was, I found this statue picture. I found a statue of her in the middle of a desert, in the middle of kind of nowhere. And happened to be there, just like there's a ladybug on my window today in the minus 30. Happened to be there, happened to be right there, seen this stone peeking out, went to pick her out and heard, don't touch me. Leave me, just admire me, just look at me. And as I sit with me, and as I sat with her, she told me a lot of beautiful things. And that was 12 years ago. And today she's very present in my life in a lot of ways. And I was trying to, like, I was, I was just so, like, depleted. Like, I felt like I had just exhausted. And it's like I had opened the floodgate and all my tears had dried up and everything. And I just become, like, full. And, and this was an opportunity for me to let the light back in. And from that point on, life changed. And I don't know why I'm telling you that story, but I feel like that's for some of you. And just know that you find faith. You find you find you, the hope and faith. You find the light of God anywhere. It's it's in so sometimes you find you find things in the most unexpected places, just like this. If this is what you're looking for, you're going to find it in the most unexpected place. But it's never left. It hasn't been gone. And if you've been thinking about giving, if you've been waiting for that Mr. or Mrs. Wright, I feel like you're going to find your right person in the most unexpected place. Or the most unexpected things are going to happen to align you now to your person that you want to spend your life with. And it's like, I don't know. I just feel like it's like something is going to change your life. Gemini, there's so many of you are going to experience life-changing events. Life-changing events coming up. And it changes your life drastically. And I feel like you won't look at the people in your life the same. I feel like you're going to know love, abundance. You're going to appreciate the people that really do matter. And the people that don't, that you're so determined to be around, I feel like it's going to really. And so the good that comes back to you when you do good, do the right things for the right reasons. Because the good will come back into your life. And this beautiful woman in this chair, I've got memories of her. And, you know, she's got these wheels. It's like, yeah, she might have had something that feels like maybe it wasn't such a good thing. But she's got a heart of gold and she's turned her, she's turned her misfortune. She's turned all this into an opportunity to be able to then use it for her highest good to help others. And that's what she's doing. And I just feel like you're also like, it's about the abundance, but it's also clearing out debt, not being angry, not mad. But stop trying to fill up life on the material world and know that's a good time to pay off debt. So I see you're juggling too much stuff. There's too much on the go. And, you know, you're, you're trying to, instead of letting yourself be your unique self, you're trying to be everything. You're trying to be both sides. You're trying to be masculine. You're trying to be feminine. You're trying to be, and if you're someone who does the job of both peoples in your life, in your life, like if you've got a partner who's not pulling their weight or not doing enough, or I feel like you're trying to, or you're trying to juggle two people in your life. It's like, you're going to have to make a decision and make a choice because you're going to fall over yourself. Uh, it's not working. And so you've got to find some serious balance here in your life. And it's also talks about jobs, about working two jobs. And just know that there's an opportunity for you to have the right job, the right money. Everything is going to have the opportunity. Everything has a possibility of aligning back into your life this month, but only if you make the changes. See some great sadness. Some great sadness that will that will heal with time. Telling you there's just something going on here in the Gemini energy and I feel like you're going to have to deal with it you're going to have to walk through some pain stories to get there but the end story is the happy ending financial security find your way back and just there's like see that she's standing out to me so I feel like this is like a rebirth like giving birth to something new an opportunity you may have some children coming in or some grandchildren who knows but I just feel like it's like there's some struggles here for Gemini but there's also some good things but it also shows me that in the struggles, you also get clear on you. You also clear off debt. You also find your way back in uh, to a much but healthier place within yourself. So it's kind of like we sometimes got to go through this to get that. And that's Gemini this month. you got to go through this to get that. And um, hope this resonates with some of you. And it may not resonate with everybody. 
but just know on the other side that it's a happy ending. So it's like we just gotta get to the we just gotta get to the happy ending, but you don't get to cheat the game this time. You don't get to use your charisma and charm and get through. You gotta walk the journey in order to get there. Much love. Have a beautiful month. And I'll see you all in um March. <laughs>